Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today I am pulling another one out of the vault and I'm going to be showing you how to make these two Valentine's Day bows from my Ultimate Bow Collection. I did a few bows for my winter collection. Well, it's all one collection, but I made two of my winter bows from the bow collection for my winter gnomes and y'all seem to really like the step-by-step -step tutorial. So when I decided to make Valentine's Day bows, my little heart bow and my Cupid arrow bow for my Valentine's Day gnomes, I figured make a separate video for y'all on how to make them. If you know how to make one bow, you really know how to make all the bows because they're very, very similar, but there are a few slight differences. So we're gonna get into that and I will show you how to cut them out, how to put them together and then We'll be back here, I guess. <laughs> Either way, I hope you like this project. I hope you like the bows. If you wanna see more bows from the Ultimate Bow Collection, let me know down below, and maybe I will put them on my little gnomes next. Bye, y'all. Let's get started. Bye, y'all, let's get started. Let's just make some bows.
All right, so now we have all our pieces cut out of the felt whoop, and out of our glitter leather. So we are going to put these together. And if you've never put a felt bow together, it's very easy. Essentially, you're gonna take these large pieces and you're gonna fold them over and glue the sides in like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the back here. And then fold one side over and dun, 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 fold the other side over. And that is how you make your bow. So we obviously need to do that twice for this guy. You want to put enough hot glue to hold everything, but not so much that it's really going to squish out the sides a bunch because then you have to clean that up, which I mean, it's not detrimental. You can just wait till it dries and cut it off with some scissors, but if you don't have to, that's easiest. That is really the hard part for this bow. Got my finger a little hot, sorry guys. All right, so now you're going to put a little hot glue on this back layer. And line up our big bow. Perfect. Now a little hot glue on the medium bow, the big bow. And line up our small bow. There we go, there's some hot glue. Need to get some gloves for glue, hot glue gloves. All right, a little more in the middle here. Just making a big sandwich. So this one, obviously, we need to make sure is centered really well. I mean, all of them, but this one especially. And you can put the arrow um, further back. I've done it like in between the bow layers or back here, but when you do that, it's just not as visible. You only see the ends. So it just depends on, on what you're going for, really. Now this is gonna be too long. I. Uh, I cut it with my Cricut out of the pink felt. And then I decided, you know what? It'd be cuter out of the glitter leather. So I actually just went back and uh, and hand cut a bit of glitter leather to act as my wraparound. And you, I mean, you don't have to cut these with a Cricut. You can make these completely by hand. That is definitely an option. And I have the, I have like PNG and JPEG files in the cut files. Let's go twice around. No. Um, in case you don't want to cut this with a Cricut. And just print out a little PNG like a pattern. And use that to trace on your felt and then go from there. But once you get a cricket, you pretty much use your cricket for everything. But man, I can remember cutting everything out of by hand. All right, bow one. Not like there's anything wrong with cutting things out by hand, just, you know. Cricket is easier. Also, you can make these bows for any reason. I know a lot of people who buy them um, from me use them for their, obviously their little girls, their granddaughters, they make bows for their kiddos. I was a bow girl. I had a whole box full of bows when I was a little girl that my mom got me. I wore a different bow every day for 
a very long time. They made me very happy. So, you know, nothing wrong with that. I still would wear bows if I could. Every once in a while I do. And then people make fun of me because I'm not five anymore. I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and do this one around this one. Because that is the trick with this one. We want that bottom layer to show through. So put this right on the middle. And then wrap it around the back. So we want to see that glitter through the felt. What I was saying though, is that while a lot of people make these for their kiddos, I make them um, for my gnomes. So these are going to go on some Valentine's Day gnomes. Oh, not long enough. Okay, that's a whole other problem. Well, let's go ahead and just put this on the back so we don't waste that hot glue. do is I'm going to put this on the end. These are going to be so cute. I, I made um the antler bow for my bow pack and the snowflake bow for my winter gnomes and oh my gosh you guys they were so cute. I made them with felt and the glitter leather as well and the glitter leather in December 0% wanted to cut and I was hesitant to use it again. I think if you even watch that video, I'm like, never using this glitter leather again. It's awful. Blah. And obviously that was a lie because I'm using it right now. But for whatever reason, this time the glitter leather cut perfectly. And the regular felt was awful. So it just goes to show, I've cut this, this pink felt with my Cricut 85 million times. It is the main felt that I use for all my felt projects. And all of a sudden it was giving me problems. I don't know why. I cut the same piece of felt like four times and it just was not cutting all the way through. I finally walked away, came back, cut it again, and it worked. But I was I was getting pretty salty for a minute there. I could not figure out what was wrong. I switched my blade from my rotary blade to my deep point blade. We switched the settings. I upped the pressure. Nothing worked. Came back, put it on the original setting, cut it with the original rotary blade worked fine. So sometimes handmade is always easier. There we go. Valentine's bows. I don't know which one I like better. Leave a comment down below with which one you like better. And I will leave a link to my gnome video so you can see how these look on the gnomes. Um, and if you want to see those winter bows that I made, I will leave a link for those as well. But in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, send it to your friends. I hope you liked these. I will see you in the next video. Bye.